just to complete it. It's the allure of doing something seemingly impossible or a personal challenge that's been brewing for years. For whatever the reason, there are 2,600 athletes here and 933 doing this Ironman for the first time. To find and showcase those athletes this season, Ford and Ironman have teamed up to form the Ford Training Team with a goal to bring athletes together to share, inspire, and motivate each other. Here in Coeur d'Alene, Cheryl Iceberg is one of many athletes that shared her story on IronmanFordTrainingTeam.com. Cheryl's story was selected from many entries and for many reasons. Some of the folks you see here in Ironman are very driven. That's why they're so successful. But uh, I don't think it requires that. I think it just requires dedication and, and passion. I'm lucky I have an Ironman a husband who's a veteran at this. He knows where to go. And he knows when to be there. Destination Osprey Point. Um, and he knows what to say to me to, to make sure that you know I keep going and doing what I need to do to get the job done. Cheryl is a fighter, and Rob is in her corner to help her live life to the fullest and conquer any challenge she seeks. Cheryl was first inspired to get into Ironman by watching Julie Moss and her amazing desire to finish the Ironman years ago. Uh, I'm actually one of the uh, Julie Moss triathletes, and um, as many uh, of us are in uh, 1982, sitting in front of you know, well, world of sports and watched her cross the finish line crawling and said, one day, um, I'd like to do that. You know, it took a long time to get myself to think that I could actually complete something like that. Um, so yeah, 20 years of thinking about it before I even started training, so. A serious Achilles injury kick-started her road to Ironman. After recovering from that, Cheryl was on her way. But I do think that was a defining moment for me to say, you know, you can go to work, you can do all these things, but when are you going to start, you know, uh, looking at the list of dreams and, and looking at the possibilities? And I think that was when I decided, okay, all right, let's get in the saddle and do this. Cheryl signed up for the 2005 Ford Ironman Coeur d'Alene and was well on her way to living out her dream. But six months before her first attempt, she received a devastating blow. Signed up for the Ford um, uh, Ironman Coeur d'Alene here in 2005. And um, about three months after I signed up for that, I, uh, I had some more health issues and ended up eventually being diagnosed with multiple scler sclerosis in November of 2004, um, just about six months before my first Ironman. Cheryl Iceberg pushed through and can still remember the feeling of finishing her first Ironman. I think it was just one of the, you know, one of the best moments of my life, really, to finish that and just, you know, just kind of say, yeah, did it. You know, life is short. You never know what's going to happen tomorrow, but I don't know how long I can stay healthy enough. But by finishing anyone, uh, any Ironman, um, you know, it's just a, it's a, it's a big accomplishment. Just because you're diagnosed with um, a neurological disease, it doesn't mean that you can't continue to have a healthy lifestyle, and it doesn't mean you can't be an Ironman.